All right, remember if you like the videos, like, sub, so the comment, share, subscribe to the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, we're going to talk about why EX moves fucking suck because people are asking me about it again. So I guess I'll make another video about why EX moves are generally absolutely terrible for fucking video games. And we're going to do the good. We got the peaceful Pikachu of peace. We got the chaotic neutral of little P. And we got why they are bad. And we'll put the, you know, a bunch of outbreak monkeys here with a, a big hairy ball sack talking about why EX moves suck. And thanks to, you know, the people that support the channel, I got a microphone again, so you'll have to let me know how the microphone sounds. And uh, still no webcam though, but, you know, if you ever support the channel, it does go into the channel. So thanks if you ever want to do it. So why don't EX moves suck? Um, well, let's talk about why would EX moves be good. And I guess why EX moves would be good is, I guess from a certain perspective, we'll give it a peaceful Pikachu of peace that Every video game needs to be different, you know what I mean? Video games need to progress, and from a certain perspective, you know, I'm not against the idea of trying, the idea of they tried EX moves, right? But certainly, the idea that they are now the, you know, the standard, most video games or fighting games, they all have EX moves, right? You know, if it's a one-off thing, you know what I mean? That's one thing, because every game needs to be different, but the fact that they are the standard now is what's bad, but we'll give it a, you know, I guess a check mark. And the fact that every game's got to be different, right? Another check mark might be that it is a, uh, you know, more meter management. It's more stuff to, you know, think about during the match, I guess. So from the perspective of more is better, you know, more to keep your brain occupied with during the match. I guess that could be a good thing. More versatile usage, usages of meter. You know what I mean? But the problem is, even if we think about more useful, versatile usages of meter... That could be a little p, a chaotic neutral, because there's definitely a fucking bad side of that, right? And that's why we're just going to get into, that's basically all the good things I can think about EX moves. Let's just talk about why EX moves fucking suck, okay? First of all, you know, they give you the excuse to take away what moves used to be, right? How often do you see in video games now that, oh, to do a dragon punch to actually have it be invincible, you have to fucking do the EX version of it. Fucking retarded. So you're telling me to get the original properties of the move, I need to do an EX version of it? That's retarded. And also as well, you know, which is a check, 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 check. Oh God, fuck man. Oh, get your shit together. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck. EX moves are just terrible. I, I mean, every, in so many games, the EX moves, what do they do? They're, they're not interesting as well. What do EX moves do? Oh, this EX move, it's like the old version of the move, but now it actually has the properties that it used to. It's like, okay, so I just have to use meter now to get the old properties, like I said. Oh, what is this EX version of the move? Oh, now it juggles. Seriously, how many times do you look at an EX version of a move in a video game and it just juggles? Is that not homogenizing the game? Oh, we have this new EX version of the move. Oh, what does it do? It juggles. Well, what does this other character EX move do? Oh, their EX version of the move, it juggles too. And it's like, oh, okay. And you know, people, and the, the weirdest thing is, I, I pointed this out before too. Every time someone actually talks about a cool EX move, and it's it's stupid because I've even seen it in the comments after I've made it. And I'm like, what would be a cool EX move in a game like fucking King of Fighters 13 or 12 or whatever it is? And I guess you might say Kyo's, uh, you know, move where he runs up and grabs you and he shoots you off into there and explodes. His EX version of that move, what does it do? It's actually a grab. And I'm like, so that's a little bit different because it actually has a different use. It's, it's you know, basically a different move. And then people are like, oh yeah, but what about Kyo's EX, you know, big grab move? That's what the fuck I said. The EX move is only interesting when it's actually a different move. And then another great reason I talk about why EX moves suck is because... They actually homogenize just the characters and cast in general as well. And I always give the EX Fireball. Why EX Fireballs suck, okay? EX Fireballs are such a great example because in a fighting game, like I said so many times, there's only so much you can do in a 2D fighting game, okay? It's two characters, it's music and a background, right? But for the most part, a fighting game are already, you know, we know what a fighting game is. We have these character archetypes, etc. And I've talked about it so many times. You know why a game like Dragon Ball Fighter Z is such a drop ball because 
One of the only things you can do new in a video game is have a new system. And Dragon Ball Fighter Z had a new system that actually allowed a new character archetype if they would have wanted it. But for the most part, we already have these character archetypes. We have the grappler, we have the fast character, we have the fireball dragon punch character, right? But think about that. Fireball dragon punch. Fireballs are such an inherent part of what is a fighting game throughout multiple genres. It's not just Street Fighter, it's King of Fighters. It's all this kind of shit. It's fucking Guilty Gear, whatever, right? Guilty Gear to a little bit lesser extent, right? But you know what I mean? When you have EX moves and every EX move, right, has to have another property, Ryu used to have the Super Fireball. Ryu was the guy who was always now has the ability to win the Fireball War, right? No other character can automatically, so to speak, win the Fireball War. Only Ryu can. This makes Ryu special, okay? But look what happened when you give EX Fireballs. You can't only give Ryu an EX Fireball because everyone has Fireballs that goes through the Fireball. So now every character can technically win the Fireball War. You have homogenized the game. The character archetype of Ryu is no longer fucking special if you think about it. Just from that simple right there. How, how can you argue? And no one no one ever has any good arguments for this because people can't talk about a fucking video game logically. Well, why do you think I'm the one that constantly comes up with all this shit? You know, other people can't see the writing on the wall or they're too, like, you know, oblivious to it or, you know, they don't want to believe it, right? EX Fireballs are such a great example because I'm like, look, what happens? Ryu. Ryu is the original guy with the Super Fireball. Oh, fuck. Well, damn it. Now everyone has to be able to win the Fireball War. You have homogenized the cast. You know, another thing when I was saying about the chaotic neutral of Little P, if we didn't have this explosion, you know what I mean? The chaotic neutral, more versatile usages of meter. What have I said that happens before in video games? When you have more versatile usages of meter, because these video games are getting so complex and everything like that, it also makes supers feel less special. And it's one of the, it's a huge problem in fucking video games. And it's, you know, actually, and like I said, to Street Fighter VI's credit, they've done a, a little bit of a good thing by, you know, having the transgender, non-binary fluid system. You can be a top or a bottom, you know what I mean? Your supers are a, you know, distinct different bar. So you will always be using your super, right? You know what I mean? It makes the supers feel a little bit more special because in so many games, look at it. In so many fucking games, when you have such versatile usages of meter with like moves like EX moves, etc., you start to not see the supers anymore. Because the supers are not good enough for you to charge up a full fucking super bar. Because the EX moves are going to be much more useful. Seriously, think about Street Fighter 3. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 4. How many times do you often see supers when you have things like EX moves? Even if we talk about Force Breaks and Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear, not a game you see a lot of supers because you have such versatile usages of Mir with RC and FRC. There's just so many other things you can use your bar for that you have also now made supers, super, just look at the word super, your super doesn't feel that super anymore. Just a ra random EX move is, is probably better use of your super than a lot of the cases, right? EX moves are bad for fucking video games, right? They're not good. They homogenize the cast. You know, whether you want to believe it or not, whether you want to admit it, they homogenize the cast. They take away character archetypes. You know what I mean? Having more having more usatile versages or usages of the meter is not always good because then inherently almost always supers become less special. Like I said, you know, one of the only things I would say if I was making Street Fighter, if you watch my videos, how I'd make Street Fighter. And it's so easy. Ryu does not need a regular thrust kick. EX moves, you should just think of it, you have a EX literal move. It is not the EX version of a move. It's just a, like a force break in Guilty Gear. Ryu does not need a regular thrust kick, right? He already has fireballs and a red fireball that knocks you down, right? If it's, you know, we're thinking more of a classic Ryu, right? He has a red fireball that knocks you down. If the guy was standing, you have a hurricane kick, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Not like these fucking, you know, Street Fighter 6, like I said. For as many things as Street Fighter 6 does well, having all these moves hit the character when they're ducking is stupid. Hurricane Kick should not hit you when you're ducking. It's fucking retarded. You know what I mean? All these homogenations of hitboxes and hurtboxes, it's stupid, right? But if we're thinking about a classic idea of Ryu, Ryu already has different ways to knock you down. 
you know, with the red fireball and a hurricane kick if the guy is standing. He doesn't need a thrust kick too. What does the thrust kick do? So he should only, his EX move, if every character has one EX move, have his EX move be his fucking thrust kick. There's no regular thrust kick, there's just an EX thrust kick, and then he gets a juggle and a combo. There. Now Ryu might want to save some meter for that if he wants to do that, but he, the game, he is not so versatile that he's using EX moves to get his dragon punch back to what it used to be. You know what I mean? Because a dragon punch is a dragon punch. You know what I mean? Look at how many of these different games, you know what I mean? Ryu is supposed to be the dragon punch guy. Now, all these other characters, if you think about inherently, you know, especially think about Super Turbo, you know what I mean? You know, they started giving everyone a dragon punch, it felt like. But so many other characters have dragon punches and everything like that. Their version of a dragon punch. But the Shoto dragon punch is the dragon punch that classically is invincible all the way through. You know, you know what I mean? Whereas if you think about think about a game like, say, Street Fighter Alpha 1, let's say. Look at Guy's Hurricane Kick, right? Guy's Hurricane Kick is actually pretty well thought out. You know what I mean? It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's, you know, a little bit more, you know, harder to punish than it looks like. But, you know what I mean? It's very slow when you actually want to do the anti-air version of it. You know what I mean? You know, you can safe jump it and all these kind of things. Blah, 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 blah. But Ryu, classically, these Shoto characters, they have the strong dragon punch no matter what, so to speak. But then when you go into these games like, you know, Street Fighter 4 or whatever it might be, Oh, what, what my EX, oh, what is guy's EX hurricane kick going to do? Oh, it's basically just going to function as a super fast hurricane kick now that's totally invincible. That should be the Shoto thing. You know what I mean? You're starting to make all these characters different shades of gray of each other. And it's fucking terrible because it's homogenizing the cast. Ryu is not always winning the, the super fireball war now, the fireball war, because everybody can win the fireball war. It's fucking retarded. You know what I mean? I've talked about this so many times. EX moves are bad for video games in so many different fucking ways. The only, only legitimate peaceful Pikachu thing of peace that I think you can say is that every game needs to be different. And so you could think, well, there's that one Street Fighter game where, oh man, I guess I got to think about if I want to, my dragon punch is like this. Oh, I have the EX move that this move juggles. Wow, big brain. What does your EX move do? Oh, it juggles. Whoa, big brain there, Jimmy. You know what I mean? Give me a fucking break. You know what I mean? Okay, we had that was our one-off for EX moves. Now every other EX move, let's make it like it's its own standalone move. You know what I mean? We don't need to have bastardized, bastardized versions of old moves, and so we have to use meter just to get the old, the old version of it. That's fucking retarded. EX moves fucking suck. Period. They're not good for video games. They're terrible. You know what I mean? The versatile, I mean, how many, you, you can't argue any of these points, you know what I mean? Like I said, to Street Fighter VI's credit, at least you know what I mean, there's like, they keep the supers on a totally different bar, which makes supers feel a little bit more special. But even then playing Street Fighter VI a little bit, it does look like supers have a little bit of a, they do feel a little specific, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, eh, I don't know, we'll see. They do feel a little specific right now, but at least you're going to be seeing them. So they feel a little bit more important. You know what I mean? Anyway. Mary, if you like the videos, like, sub, silly comment, share, support channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks to the people that support the channel because I got this microphone. So now I can like practice my ASMR. Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess I... <laughs> anyway, if you want to support for me to get... A... I still don't have a webcam, so support the webcam. Anyway, thanks, the end.